What I want, peeps, what I want. It's Valerie's Naturals Oracles. And today I'm not actually at home, so I haven't got as many tarot cards around me as I normally do. But I'm going to use the quantum of the oracle. And again, I'm not at home, so I haven't got the box with me. But if you know this one, it's an oldie but a goodie. And I'm going to get an overall message from this, from Spirit. And then I'm going to use... And I've only used these once on TikTok before, but they're beautiful cards. They are a little bit on the dark side and a little bit passa passa, but <laughs> let's get into it. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, why not? Hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so you know when I'm going to do another video because as you know, and if you're a regular, you know they're doozy. <laughs> I want that one piece, I want that one, and a big up on themselves. Anyway, let's see what Spirit's got to say today. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give us the message for the collective. What does the collective need to know today, Spirit? Please let us know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give me the message. Thank you, Spirit. Please give me the message. Oh, let's see what's going to come out here. I've got all sorts of things going through my head at the moment. <laughs> Are you happy just go moving along with your life? I don't know what's going to come out here, but you know, what I've, the message I've been getting lately for the collective is, is that your person wants to come back in. I keep getting that message, but they're hesitating because they know they did you wrong. And I'm getting it. I'm just channeling now, but what I'm getting is this person wants to really come in and rush in, but they know they did you wrong. So they are being there logical self i'm getting a lot of that their logical self and trying to plan how they're gonna come back to you and instead of just being honest you know tell the truth and slay the devil <laughs> instead of just being honest upright to the point which would just cut through all the bullshit they want to come and plot and plan so they don't actually have to want to come and apologize for what they did because they don't want to admit to what they did was wrong so, we're going to find out what Spirit's got to say, but I don't know if that's what's going to come out in the cards, but that's the channel I'm getting today. Do you know what else I'm getting today as well? I'm getting a lot of married couples that are not actually happy with their marriage life. And they're actually having, having maybe affairs or meeting up with their actual twin flame who they're not married to. So both couples... <laughs> are both married but both meeting up with other people because they're both unhappy in their marriage and realise they're with the wrong people. So I don't know if that's going to come out today but these are the channelings I'm getting today people. What a one! <laughs> I'm also getting people and I'm going on now because spirit of talk to their spirit of talk. But spirit's talking about you bossing up and moving on and doing all sorts of things. So let's see what comes out here because I can keep going. I can talk for the whole video with all the channeling I'm getting. Stuck it. You see what I mean? Stuck energy. Deception. You see what I mean? Oh my goodness. And discovery. <laughs> Already I can see a story here. Can you see these cards, people? Because of, and taking steps. That's at the bottom of the deck. But look, the first card I got is. Can you see that, peeps? I don't want to take it to because I don't want it to blur because the um, actual settings I've got it on. But stuck energy. Okay. And the second card is deception. And the third card is discovery. Oh my God. So let me, let me see what's going on here, Spirit. Let's see what's going on. So the stuck energy is your person. Your person with their stuck energy not knowing what to do. Do you see what I mean? They're stuck. They're, 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 if you look at this person's face, good. It's like they're pondering as to what move to make instead of just coming forward and being honest and truthful. Because, you know, if you're honest and truthful about certain things, it wouldn't be a problem. Maybe you would have accepted that and then you could have come to some kind of arrangement. But instead of doing that, this person wants to still hide who they are, what they're doing with their deception. <laughs> Can you see that, please? They're hiding with their deception. What are they hiding? And they're hiding that they're having an affair. And they're hiding that they had somebody in the background. And they're hiding that they had some kind of illicit. And they the community dick. Or the community Polani. <laughs> the community Polani. Oh no, Valerie, why did you have to go there? And you've just 
discovered all about this or if you hadn't made a discovery that you don't need this person now you are big up your status I want that one please want that one <laughs> let's find out what the cards have got to say and I have to admit I'm a bit nervous about these cards because they're new and I don't know what's going to come out but all I can do is out spirit why spirit has brought these cards up because at the moment look at the bottom of the deck which is future enemies you are taking steps to do what you need to do whether that is to move on with your life to start your business to do what you're doing but you made discoveries so let's find out what's going on <laughs> oh and if i didn't mention before people um the giveaway is over but what i'm doing is um and i've actually um contacted the, the actual people that i'm going to give my stuff away to but what i'm planning to do now is give her a reading a month but it'll be at the end of each month so the new reading that i'm going to give out will be at the end of july so stay tuned for that and i will give you the the top tier vip treatment <laughs> which is i will video it and talk to you and you can see exactly what i'm doing so that's what i do with with, with my top tier videos <laughs> So stay tuned for that. So anyway, let's see what comes out. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give me the message. Please give me the message. What kind of deception is it? I'm even seeing here. The deception here is that somebody who's actually bisexual that's here. I'm getting the bisexual thing. Do you know what I mean? And they were in the closet. And do you know what? It's a horrible thing to say. It's, if you're a same-sex relationship, that's fine. But do you know when you're bisexual and you don't tell people you're bisexual? I think it's wrong. Do you know what I mean? You bounce from one to the other and you're not telling, you're not telling about this. It's wrong. Do you ever get those people that over-protest when you talk about gay people? They're like, oh, move the, the gay people away from me. Those are the ones you've got to watch because you know, sir, they're really just doing that just to overemphasize so they don't get caught. Cool. Remember, I said that, okay? <laughs> all the spirit, all the angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance, and reading these cards. Please give me the message. Thank you, spirit. Please give me the message. Please give me the message, what we need to hear. Why is the stuck energy here, spirit? Why is the deception here? Why is the discovery here, spirit? Let's get some cards out so we can see what's going down here, because you know I like to do the spread with the path. And let's see. So your guess is as good as mine what's going to come out because you can see me shuffling and I, don't, I have no clue what's going to come out here. So let's see. Oh, so at the bottom of the... See, someone's stressed out. At the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. Look, the Ten of Wands is a completion of a cycle. But it looks like it was completion of a hurt in a cycle that was hurtful. So let's find out what these cards are about. So what we've got here is is oh the king of pentacles and the seven of wands immediately we've got this king of pentacles here it's normally upright to the point but you know the king of pentacles is always the married the marriage courtsman in the deck so they're normally married they're normally stable together have a stable environment but guess what's come up with it the seven of wands can you see that the seven of wands is you defending yourself against this person or being defensive against this person why are you being defensive is it because of a their stuck energy and b their deception what i want please what i want because here now we've got the you see what i mean we've got the eight of wands with the lovers card look at this let me show you the eight of wands because these cards are beautiful look can you see that that's the eight of wands okay and the eight of wands speaks of somebody who's actually you know wanting to send a message the eight of wands is somebody wanting to send a message or some kind of communication in reference to this love situation you can't make this up can you you saw me shuffle the cards people <laughs> you can't make this up so so far we've got this king of pentacles who's probably a married man or maybe that's the deception they didn't tell you they had somebody in the background and they didn't tell you maybe that's the deception and or they could have been you know the player from the himalayas it doesn't matter if you're married or not you can still be a player from the himalayas because you know you could be stepping out on your partner too do you know what i mean but what i'm getting here is this person wants to communicate to you in reference to this love situation is they going to tell you about this third party situation? Because that's come up next. 
You can't make this out. Spirit come true, spirit come true. Because look, this is the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups speaks of either celebration or a third party situation. What I'm seeing here though is somebody. This three, do you know what? This Three of Cups here is a different one because it's you looking and looking at this person and knowing what the situation is. Because look. They still want to step to you even though there's this three party situation. Look, the ace of, the ace of wands. This is somebody who wants to take a new action pack beginning with you. Oh, what I want, please, what I want, even though they knew the three party situation is here. Now, what is this? The karmic's coming out now. Is the karmic here? Is this what it is? No, I don't see the karmic here. I don't see. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So, <laughs> I don't talk about the karmic today i want to talk about what's going on here because this story has moved on so now this person wants to talk about the love situation this is such a beautiful card okay they want to talk about the love situation but they know they did you dirty and this is the three-party situation but they still want to start again with you is that what the deception is they're going to tell you some rubbish about them not they're going to tell you some rubbish about them not being in a third-party situation or not having a commitment and they still want to be with you because you know the ace of wands is all about the phallic symbol as well <laughs> and what that want peace what that want is it that they just want to come forward and be the community dick again <laughs> they want to give it to you but justice is here in reference to the knight of cups is it that this knight of cups do you know what I'm seeing here as well? I'm seeing two stories. You want justice because you know this person had their in and out, was just their in and out, and they just wanted to treat you like an option, a be friend with benefits. But what also I'm getting here is this person really does want to step to you and not, and still have you juggling. They still want to have you juggling. This is what I'm seeing here. Is it that you want justice because of what this person did? Because the Knight of Cups, again, is somebody who wants to offer you an emotional beginning. But with the Knight of Cups, sometimes it's a flirt. The community dick again! <laughs> or the community, community Polani. You take it, switch it, flip it, see how you want to set, take it. But it's the community somebody. <laughs> what I want, please, what I want. Maybe you want injustice on this situation. But it's like this person wants to... Like I was saying previously, this person doesn't want to apologise. They've come, they're not come with the Ace of Cups where they should be apologised. They come with the King of, the Knight of Cups, who wants to flirt with you all over again and don't want to talk about the situation why you split up in the first place. But look here, we have the Eight of Cups. You're going to walk away from that situation. Oh, what I want, please, what I want. You're chopping it out. You're correct to chop it. And now, this person can see that you were divinely guided to them, but... They can't do anything about it. They know they have trust. This, this is definitely a community dick person or a community panani. <laughs> They're just on the last team because they're at the bottom of the deck. Like I said previously, at the bottom of the deck now. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck because what I'm seeing here is, is somebody who is stressed out. It's an end of, they can see it's the end of a cycle because you walked away. But they're stressed about it because they know, look, the two of pentacles, they know they juggled you. Can you see that? The light's a bit, the light's behind me, so it's a bit shiny because these cards are really shiny. So I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, we've got the two of cups and the ten of wands. This person has come to an end of a cycle and they know it, but they still want to come in and juggle you because here is the page of pentacles again. Is it that they want to start a new stable beginning with you? But they don't know how to. Because look, the Five of Cups is... You can't make this up. The Five of Cups is behind that. That is somebody who's, who's, who's missing out on an opportunity. What do they think? Did they realise that you was the one in the first place? That's what I'm getting. This person knew you was the one at the beginning. But they thought you would never go anywhere. This is what I'm getting. This is Spirit of Tart. No, Spirit of Tart. Spirit saying, this person thought... You might have known this person a while and because of the way that you reacted towards them and how it's always been with you, he, this person, whether man or woman, flip it, switch it, twitch it, thought you would never go anywhere and that you would always be there for them to come back to. They can make excuses and come back to you. But spirit touch you and tell you what I want or your intuition kicked in and tell you what I want. And I'm telling you, they still want to come forward with this, 
But it's a missed opportunity now because they thought, they thought you would always be there and they think, ah, oh, cha, I can ghost this person. I can ghost this person and come back. But guess what? What did they come back to? Did they come back to a block number? Did they come back to a changed address? Did they come back to somebody who even moved countries? <laughs> what that one, Pete? What that one? <laughs> you block it, you delete it, you corrupt it, trap it. Oh, what that one, Pete? What that one? And now it's a missed opportunity. And they're trying to heal this situation. But you know what I've got here? I've got the world, the will in reverse. This is karma. They can't heal this. You really did chop it, karate chop it, and left it alone because this is the star card and the wheel in reverse. This is no chance of healing this situation. Is that what you're saying, people? Because now we've got the judgment card here. The judgment card is here. This is somebody's karma to watch you walk away. This is what it is. This is karma. To have the judgment and the wheel of fortune in reverse. Somebody's stuck energy. Stuck energy. Somebody's stuck in a cycle. They want to heal the situation, but let me take them time. They took their time to come forward. Or they didn't even come forward before. And they got word now that either you moved. They've realised that you deleted them, you blocked them in everything. You blocked them on social media, you did all that kind of nonsense. You even moved countries to get away from this person. <laughs> Boy, it must have been extreme for you to move countries. But what I'm seeing here is somebody's watching you walk away and that is their karma. You are going to live in their head rent free. <laughs> you can live in this person's head rent free. serve her she cut out what don't serve her what is going on what is going on she cut out to chop she cut out what don't serve her because look she knew that this was a was it that this person could have been a false twin flame or is it that they did magic to you to tie you to them this is what's coming up in my head spirit of tarp, spirit of did this person put love do you know what I've got these new set, I'm going to tell you something now. I've got these new set of cards that I got yesterday, or what I had, and I've only just looked at them and they're called Hulu. And one of the spreads they do in there, and I did it just out, of, just out of curiosity, I did a spread, and it's one of the spreads you can do with those cards is, as someone put a hex on you, okay? Now, I'm not saying, and I did it for myself. And someone tried that shit on me, but I know I'm guided and protected, and that shit just bounced back. And if you was on my TikTok, or my last video that I did on YouTube, it was all about somebody being ill and getting STDs, and or somebody getting sick from trying to do black magic on somebody and it bounced back to them. And this is the message I'm getting. You are guided and protected. Spirit's got your back, whatever nonsense they try. But what I did was, like I said, I did this thing and it turned out somebody at the bottom of the explanation, because I wasn't used to the cards, it said, somebody's put something in your drink or something for you to trap you in your head or to tie you to that person. And all you, and, and they could have been a false twin flame. Do you know what I mean? But it's got a worth at some point. It's either got a worth at some point or it didn't touch you in the first place because you are guided and protected. So it didn't work on you. <laughs> to the point where this person's questioning because now, because it's bounced back on them, it's them that's up in their head and their car, you are living in their head rent free because they tried that shit on you and it bounced back to them but it's 10 times worse so all they can think about all day is you. <laughs> Trust and believe this is how karma works, but it's ten times worse for them. So you cut out when I serve you, but they're still coming back with the Ace of Pentacles. Or is this? Oh, you know what this is as well. This person, this is the Ace of Pentacles now. Okay, but this could also be you just um, finding your happiness elsewhere. Have you found happiness elsewhere? Can you see these cards? This is the Ace of Pentacles. I know it's a bit shiny, and I've got the light behind me, but. Um I should have positioned the camera somewhere else, but never mind, we're here. And then, that's that, okay? And this is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is you, happy as Larry, you know, getting what you deserve after this person did this to you. And in the meantime, <laughs> this person, they're just, oh, so, you know what? The 
six of pentacles and the nine of wands. The nine of wands is someone who is trying to soldier on. This is this person, but they're in balance now. So I've got the six of pentacles here. This person is in balance because, you know, the six of pentacles is always about give and take. It's about give and take and balance. But when it's paired with the nine of wands, somebody trying to soldier on, this person is trying to soldier on and trying to get you out of their head to the point where it's just in balance now and they've got to do something because spirit is on their back. Spirit is on their back saying, come on now. If you don't do the right thing, I'm going to forever live in your head rent free. We are not going to leave you alone. You are forever going to go through this karma. You're going to lose goods. You're going to lose... Um, that's what I'm saying. It's instability. You're going to lose houses, cards, goods. The good people in your life, you're going to lose one by one. You're going to be left by yourself. Still in your head with somebody living in your head rent free because you decided to be the community dick or the community panani <laughs> and treat somebody that was always there for you like that. You see, what I mean, the devil's come out now. This is the devil and the queen of pentacles. You know who this is? This is the karmic. <laughs> the karmic is here. <laughs> She's the one that persuaded you. No, let me tell you something. It's not only about somebody that you have in a relationship. It could be a friend. It could be an older person. Because the Queen of Pentacles normally is a married woman. Whereas the Nine of Pentacles is the single, stable, reliable. This is the Queen of Pentacles who is the devil. Now, this is what's coming up in my head. Okay, I'm going to tell you what's coming up in my head. This person saw that your person was attracted to you. And they said, mm -mm, I'm going to have this person even if I don't want him because I don't want him with nobody else but me. Okay. And this is what's going on here. So the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is the karmic. She has devil energy. She is the one. Is, she's probably obsessed over this person now because she's been doing it. Can you see how dark this person looks? Can you see that? You see the black dress she's got on like a widow. And she's like, she's dark and she's got a key in her hand like she's trying to trap somebody, lock them up and trap them in their head. Do you see the key? Where's this devil? Do you see the devil with her whip? She's trapped your person in her head, in their head. And it's t she's tied this person to them. And Spirit is saying to me that this person is either um, an empress in reverse. Somebody is into the darkness into the dark magic or goes to witch doctors or goes to the wrong people for information goes to the wrong people and probably knows who you are as well this is the message i'm getting from spirit they probably know who you are as well and so they feel that they can actually bind you and do these spells but i'm telling you what right that person is going to come back to them and it's going to make them imbalanced and and they're both of them between the two of them he's probably do you know what this person's like trying to do magic on you trying to do magic on them so they're trapped in their head with this person this is what the stuck energy again is all about and this is what the deception is all about and spirit is enlightened you about what's going on with the discovery that's what's going on here Oh, what a one piece, what a one. But big things are one for you, honey. <laughs> big things are one. <laughs> oh, what a one piece, what a one. And I pick up on yourself because this story is deep. Do you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to leave this here because the world card is here. This is about you changing your circumstances. You, do you see the wise out there? None of this is touching you. You are totally oblivious to this. A spirit of talk, no spirit of talk. But all this is going on in the background behind you. And maybe you are privy to it, maybe you're not. But spirit, you know intuitively that you are not to mess with this person because A, and the, the messages I've been getting as well lately is this person who was the community, they call the community Panani. <laughs> Who's now in stuck energy because they realise where they, where they should have been, right? This person, it's just madness. This person could have, um, when I see the darkness of that person and the devil, she would do anything to trap him. And But at the same time, she is probably, do you know when I see the Queen of Wands? She's probably married as well but got him. 
and he might be married. That's why I'm getting this message about two, the two couples are both married to other people. So there's like six, it's like two couples behind and then them two. So she could be married to somebody else, but she's having an affair with your person. And your person feels obligated to this person for some reason. They don't understand why. It's because the person tied in with magic. And but the world card is here, big things like what? He's probably realised what she's doing and is now turned cold towards her. But the stuck energy, he do you know what else why I see why he's stuck as well? Or she, it could be she, he or she. You see the stuck energy? This is about somebody who doesn't like change. Who doesn't like to change who they are. They don't like to change their circumstances. And they will stay in a, a loveless relationship because they can't be bothered. They probably put up a front and probably on Instagram or Facebook taking pictures. Taking pictures and making it look like he has this wonderful life. And in the background, she's terrorising him. <laughs> or he's terrorising her. The narcissist. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there, you know, people. That was deep. Spirit was talking today. Give me some messages for some people. So, if you have not subscribed yet, why not? Hit the subscribe button and alert bell so you know when I'm going to do another video. And if you got to the end of this video, please give me three purple hearts so I know you watched it to the end. <laughs> also, although I've done the last giveaway, which was my very first one because I'm so thankful for the new subscribers, I'm going to start doing giving away one reading every month for a while until I go back to college, which is in September. So, end of July, I'm going to give away a free reading. And I do, like I said, I do a VIP thing where I will record it and everything for you. <laughs> so you can keep playing it over and over again. So I'm going to love and leave you, my people. Nam yo ho renge kyo.